yesterday started out great. And then soon after that, it went to complete dog shit. I was cruising along Interstate 30 in Arkansas, uh, I-30 westbound, just outside of Texarkana, when suddenly my truck had some kind of conniption. It was like, eh, I don't feel like doing this no more, comrade. And then it just started losing power. It started slowing down. Um, and I knew there was a, a, a flying J coming up there in Texarkana. And so I was like, I'm going to limp it there. But by the time I got to the off-ramp, exit uh, 7, I believe it was, yeah, it, it just went down, like down. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to make it to this flying J. So I pulled off on the side there uh, as much as I could, not completely, put on my orange triangles, popped the hood, started poking around. I mean, I'm not a diesel mechanic. I, I don't know what to look for, but it did sound like there was something pouring there, like some kind of liquid pouring. But I looked under the truck. There's nothing pouring down. So that's a good sign, I guess. But the fact that my truck um, didn't want to go no more, it still, still starts up. And, but when it starts, make this like really awful clicking noise, which I don't know. I'm no expert, but I don't think it's supposed to do that. So I shut it off again and then just sort of like, you know, called road breakdown, waited for the cavalry to arrive, looked at this sign that says no parking anytime, but I don't really have a choice because my truck is fucked. But those are the codes that are coming up. They were for engine electrical system problem detected, as it says right there, but also uh, something with fuel delivery. So I had to get a tow. They are gonna take my trailer uh, storage elsewhere. And this Captain America truck came, that's a tow truck. And they are big fans of Donald Trump, which is also cool. I don't judge people. And that's not judge is Donald Trump. That's Donald Trump. Captain America, which is kind of weird, I guess, because Captain America is kind of like the, you know, fit, muscular dude, and Donald Trump, you know, kind of isn't. And neither am I, for that matter, so I shouldn't judge, but to make him Captain America, that's just weird. That's, that's like if I represented myself as Captain America. That'd be, that would be stupid. It would be goofy. But I digress. The Donald Trump Captain America tow Damn. truck... From Red River came, hooked up my truck, and took everything to their, uh, to, well, not to their shop, but uh, to the dealership, to the Freightliner dealership. Now, unfortunately, yeah, down in Dixie, down. they don't have a very strong work ethic because on Saturday, which that day was yesterday, they uh, only opened till five. And they, as any Freightliner dealership or any semi truck dealership is. They're always busy as shit because these pieces of crap aren't made very well. You might say, oh, it's because the Freightliner. Not nah, go to anyone, Freightliner, Peterbilt, uh, Volvo, whatever. All the same shit. So, uh, only open till 5 yesterday, uh, so no diagnostic. Sunday, they are closed because uh, if they were open, Jesus would get angry. So, it's not going to be until Monday until I even get a diagnostic to find out what is wrong with this hunk of shit. And whatever it is, hopefully it's not terribly expensive. The tow already was pretty eye-watering. I wasn't happy with that. Although I'm never happy when I have to spend money, I don't want to. But here they were just kind of hooking everything up. And then they just uh, towed me away to the uh, dealership. And uh, after that, I got an Uber because I didn't want to wait two hours for the hotel shuttle. Uh, now, where I am right now in my hotel room, just waiting patiently or impatiently for my diagnostic and after that to have the truck repaired.
And that is that. My truck, old Bessie, Khaleesi, as I call her, got to the Freightliner safe and sound thanks to the expertitions and the cool guys at Red River Wrecker Service. I think that's their name. Based in Texarkana, I guess they are. I don't know. They're cool guys. Did an awesome job. Now I just need Freightliner over there to do their shit come Monday, fix it, hopefully fast, and uh, so I can zip zap zibbity boo bop back on the road and start making money again. Because right now I'm only losing money and uh, I don't like losing money. Nobody likes losing money. I should, you don't even say like, oh, I don't like losing money. Nobody likes losing money. There's not some guy sitting around like, yeah, I just lost 500 bucks. Sweet. Yeah, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Uh, but then again, I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does happen. Uh, just because I've never seen it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. That's just like anecdotal, right? Anyways, thanks for watching if you have made it this far, which I doubt. And I wouldn't blame you, right? Because my content is kind of shit. But it is what I do and it is what I enjoy. And if you happen to enjoy it as well, that's fantastic. And if you happen to be here from the rubber glove video, um, thank you for watching that one. And um, if you're going to ask me to make another, well, I already have. Uh, I might make another one. Who knows? Uh, I, I don't know. You know, nobody knows what the future holds. So, yep. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers for uh, Khaleesi that she manages to get fixed quickly and it doesn't cost a shit ton which i know that's pretty unlikely thanks for watching